now we are going to do or to convert the following non-linear equation into linear form okay, so this is x practice 6.5 equation number 1a so if you are given y equals px squared minus q so in order to make it into linear form you have to write it in the form of y equals mx plus c okay so no, please notice there is only one x there so what you have to do here what happen if you divide all by x so divide by x divide by x divide by x so you have y equals px minus q over x so this is not linear equation still why because i do not know uh, which one is to represent uh, which one is to represent gradient and which one is to represent the y intercept there is x here there is x here okay so actually what we have to do here is you divide by x squared okay so once you divide by x squared what will uh, you have is y over x squared cut here p minus q over x squared and then it is better to rewrite this in the form 1 over x squared so this is still y over x squared so this is the capital y this is the capital x uh, this is m and the value of c is p So for question B, y equal to hx squared plus x. So in case that you still uh, confuse, what you have to do here is that you have to make sure one of the expression doesn't have x. Okay, so if one of them doesn't have x, that is comparable to the value of c here. So, if you divide this by x, x divided by x will be 1. Okay? So, 1 is an, an expression, is a number, is a term that doesn't have x. Okay? So, once if this part divided by x, this also divided by x, and this is divided by x also. So, what you have y over x equals hx plus 1. So, the y, capital Y here, is represented by y over x. The m would be h and the c would be 1. The x is x. If you were to draw graph, this, this is represented by y over x and this is x. Okay, for question C, there are two options here to make it into general uh, or to make it into linear form. So one of them will be do not change anything. Do not change anything, but you rewrite it as P bracket 1 over X squared plus Q. So what you have to do in order to make it into... Um, linear form is that you are drawing y against 1 over x squared so the table of values in order to draw this will be different uh, but that uh, so the what is important here is that the m is p and the value of c is q okay but that is not the one uh, the answer given at the back okay so the other way in to make it into gen uh, to make it into linear form is that you multiply the whole thing here 
by x squared. So it become y x squared equals to p plus q x squared. So this is a linear form also. But then here, in this case, this p is c and then q is the n. Okay? So you will see, in this case, this is m, this is c. So the drawing or the graph is y x squared will be against x squared. Okay? So look at, look at the graph only. It's slightly different, but then both of the answers are correct.